What is going on guys? So today we're back with another Pokemon Masters video and today we're actually going to be continuing some of our Sync Pair stories because there are quite a few that we still need to get through and we haven't gotten through them yet. So let's go ahead and check out Roxy and Marlin I think is what that was. So let's check out what Roxy the Rockstar is doing with her good old Whirlipede. Is that the one it is? As Atticus was walking to the beach, she heard the sound of a bass guitar and someone singing loudly in the distance. Curious, she headed towards the music and eventually discovered the culprits, Roxy and her Whirlipede. Oh, hey there, Atticus. Did we catch your attention with the little jam session there? Yeah. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty sick, actually. If you ever want to get into music, we should totally form a band. I mean, we're already on the same team, right? Come on, sing a little something for me. Okay. I'm too nervous for that. You, you don't got to be nervous. Nobody will laugh at you. I promise. <laughs> so what kind of songs are you going to sing for me? Uh, definitely some heavy metal. Ha! Ah, I knew you had rock music in your soul. I love heavy metal too. Well, come on, let's hear it. After a moment, Atticus cleared her throat and started to sing. <clears throat> well, I think you might have made a fan out of Whirlipede. You know, listening to you sing kind of put my heart at ease, Atticus. That kind of fun personality of yours really comes through when you're singing. But... I feel like being in a band might not really be your thing. Was I that terrible? No, no, no. That's not what I meant. Ah, I'm saying it all wrong. Just listen to me for a sec. At once, Roxy launched into a heavy bass riff. Atticus felt the deep sound echo in her chest, making her heart beat faster. I think... You're thinking about it too much, Atticus. I mean, when I jam, I jam. Sometimes I rock out and headbang so hard I forget my own name. When I heard you sing, it kind of made me realize something, Atticus. I think Pokemon battling is your jam. It's where you're most in your element. So, I guess it might be a little selfish for me to say this, but I'd much rather see you stand up on stage and battle it out next to your Pokemon. I get what you mean. Will you root for me then? Duh! I'll be cheering you on from the front row. That's what friends are for. You know, I've got loads of fans that love music and support my music. But when it comes to trainers, I'm your biggest fan. Or am I? Ha <laughs> ha You know, brings back a ton of memories uh, of being a, a little kid and uh, wanting to be in a band because, you know, I definitely did. So let's check out what's going on with Marlin and uh, Caracosta, I think. <laughs> Can't quite remember. As Atticus was walking down the beach, she spotted what looked like Marlin and his Caracosta off in the distance. She moved toward them to say hi, but when she got closer, they were nowhere to be found. Woo, the ocean's so big and blue. Suddenly, she heard the booming voice of Marlin as he and his Caracosta leaped out of the water with a splash. Oh ho! Sup, Atticus? Yo, Passio's beaches are seriously out of this world, dude. We've been swimming out here since the crack of dawn. You must really like to swim. Totally, dude. I've been swimming since before I could walk. Me and Caracosta feel more at home in the water than we do on land. We actually swam here to Passio all the way from the Unova region, dude. You did what? Yeah, man, me and Caracosta decided to go for a long-distance swim off an island we were staying at. Then, all of a sudden, this weird circle appeared out of nowhere right in front of our eyes. It looked pretty rad, so we drove right in. I mean, how could we not? Anyway, we kept swimming and swimming, and eventually we ended up here on the island. Crazy, right? Were you scared? Ah, nah, dude. I was so stoked. I can't get over how this guy talks. I was too stoked to see what was on the other side to be scared. That reminds me, this one time back in the day, I was feeling totally wiped out after a Pokemon battle. Caracosta was all out of whack too, so we decided to bail out on a trip we were planning on taking with a friend. When our friend got back from the trip, he told us about all the fun stuff we missed out on. I realized in hindsight that I should have gone on that trip anyway, even if I was tired. Ever since that day, I've been telling myself to dive headfirst into anything that seems fun. 
But to do that, I gotta max up my upper body strength. So I've been out here swimming every day. I'll swim till my arms feel like they're gonna fall off. But if doing that means I gotta go all out and have fun all over the world, that's fine with me. You feel the same way, don't you, dude? You got these thrill-seeking vibes. I can tell you go all the way to have a good time. I guess so. What do you mean you guess so? Aren't you having wicked fun out here every day ready for the PML? Yo, maybe I'm seeing things, but your Pokemon looks totally happy to me. That's proof enough, dude. Man, I am so stoked to see where you go from here. You got the serious talent, dude. If you ever get serious, you might even beat me. There's no way I'm gonna let that happen though. Ha ha ha, aw man, I can't wait for that battle. It's one more wave that we can look forward to shredding one day, Caracosta. Dude, <laughs> he's probably the one character that talks most similarly to how I actually talk in real life. Dude, man, like that's completely part of my normal vocabulary. So anyways, now that we are done with our story portion of the video, let's actually head back to the shop here, go up to Sync Pair Scout. So we are hardcore still looking for Blue and Hilda, since technically we don't have either of those. So let's go ahead and do some normal summons. Uh, we'll do um, we'll do one on one in this video. We'll just keep it to one per video for now. So throwing that down, we didn't get any kind of flash animations. <sighs> Unfortunately, let's see what kind of antenna, just a three-star antenna, what kind of freaking doors four star no it's nothing new why can't it be new it's just the same old crap every single time unfortunately that is just the way it goes sometimes but that is actually going to be it for this video guys thanks so much for hanging out thanks so much for watching always remember that the discord link is down in the description below if you are interested in joining that but until our next video i'm going to go ahead and head out and play those ending credits for you Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, always remember that if you like to like videos, you could do that. But if you don't, you could be that guy. Otherwise, uh, let me know what you have to say down in the comments below about the video. I do highly appreciate you guys watching. If you guys want to support me in any way, there are several links down in the description for Patreon, uh, joining the community here on YouTube, or even just directly PayPal if that's your thing. I greatly appreciate everyone's name that's on screen as you guys have showed some sort of support outside of just viewing the videos. And I thank you guys, you, you don't understand from the bottom of my heart. So until our next video guys, I will catch you then.